Hello folks, I'm here to show you guys how to disassemble this case to install a 16 gigabyte RAM for this 14 inch HP DQ 1033 CL and here are some of the tools I'll be using and you, you pretty much could get this from some sort of iPhone kit or what have you you can shop online the spudgers and stuff here um, a guitar pick that came with it and I'm not sure which which type of uh, screwdriver this may use so I have two of these and my 16 gigabyte <clears throat> so let's get started as I've seen from previous demonstration from previous models there's a screw should be here here and here two screws here there's two screws here. These screws right here at the bottom are actually smaller than the other screws or shorter. So make sure you make a note of that. Let's go ahead and use this to pry this off here and maybe get a little bit more stationary here. And this is when you want to just take your time. There's no rush into it. You know, and if it doesn't work on that side, try the other side. There's no harm in, in this. But basically, we're trying to get underneath it. There you go. Okay. Now... Don't really need to. Okay, there's two screws there. You don't need to take out the whole stri rubber strip, just partial. So, there we go. This is really a good spudger. Okay, there. As you can tell, that's open. Now, let's go ahead and look at it. It says uh, 2.5 by 6.5. Go ahead and use this, and it works well. Okay, let me just show you this. Put it back into place. Okay. And what I like to do a lot of times is make sure <clears throat> that the screws, when you first do it, correspond to the screws that you placement because that one black one is a black one goes actually specifically to this location as this one's a silver one coated silver coated and tell her here I see different and here's a black one too it's really crucial sometimes that the number of screws that you take out, you got to remember the order just in case. Um, and it's, it's important. You never know what the manufacturer have in store for this. So, <clears throat> Now I'm going to take this one out, the middle one. I'll put it in a different location so I don't get confused later. Okay. Now for the last last one, last two right here. Okay, yeah, these are actually smaller. And I did say last one, but I forgot this rubber strip need to I need to take out one more here. And I, I just want to show you guys. This is just how tiny these are. A little bit smaller for the. See how small those are.
trying to find something. Now let's go ahead and use this again on this side. As you can tell, there's a little bit of play here. This one's a little bit um, stickier. Okay, so they have some sort of residue here, so you could tell that you opened the case. And you know, some people suggested a heat, you know, heat gun or a hair dryer. I wouldn't recommend it just because this is really plastic and you might warp the the outer interior. But yeah, this sticky residue doesn't help. Let me see if I could take it out. Okay, here it is, the stickiness. So you could tell there's a little, there's an extra tape actually on it, not just the, that. So just remember, this 
the smaller strip does have an extra layer of tape that was probably wasn't part of the the previous model I'm just doing some cleanup here just to make sure okay now that we got this done I'm going to go ahead and use a guitar pick and the easiest way you know you would think is go ahead and open up the laptop here and go around here but it's really hard to get your guitar pick in here without maybe damaging it a bit so it looks like this is probably the easiest way see there's a this more of a gap that you could actually put your kind of, kind of lift up now and this is probably the better way of doing it. Um, let's see if I could do it. And with this one, I'm just I'm not gonna put the screw back on. I'm just gonna go ahead and and how to put this back on? Go ahead and put it at the left end first, and then and then squeeze it out and you can tell it's, this rubber strip is not not great not great at all anyway Let's see if I could uh, Okay, you hear that? There's a clip there. See that? Very simple. You can see these clips here. See? Very easy. Very simple. Probably easier to maybe open it up just a bit so you can see what's going on. close this quickly back up put back the rubber strip now I may have to Got that part. But I need to get I'm trying to get into this corner here. Well, I guess I could slap it in. So 
really I recommend a guitar pick. just come off. Voila. Okay. <clears throat> so, one of the things you can replace, you can replace your hard drive right here. Um, just ground myself first before I do that. Okay, so here is your hard drive. Here's your wireless LAN that people want to replace that can. Just watch out for these two tabs. You just push up. Here's the RAM. Here's the RAM slot too. So back in the <clears throat> couple years ago, but now the newer RAM doesn't matter which slot. I'm gonna go ahead and still move this one into this one and then move and put this one in it. it. It probably won't make a difference, but sometimes it doesn't boot up. And that's probably the case sometimes. Okay, so what do you wanna do is pretty much just lift this up. Okay. Okay, like lift these things up. There, it comes off. Now you look at the notch. See, you can't do it this way like this one. See how it goes like that? Let me get closer here. Can't really tell. So you notice the notch here. It can't fit like that. You're going to have to put it upside down. And what I do is put it at an angle and just snap it into place. And you notice, if it doesn't look like it's all the way in, you might want to go ahead and take it back out. Push it in, and you should hear it snap. Now go ahead and take out your old memory, your other, not take out your old memory, put in a new one. And this one, Go ahead and put it in, snap it in place. And that's really it. Um, you want to go ahead and boot it up, 